Hi, my name is Emerson Macedo from Nodecast.org and here we are with our episode 2 about publish and subscribe with Fair. The source code will be available on GitHub after this presentation. So, here we go! Open your browser, type github.com slash isax slash npm, go to simple install, copy the command that's using curl, go to your terminal, paste it, hit enter, and waiting for installation. Node Package Manager is a tool like RubyGems which allows you to install and manage your dependency, your packages. So, after installation is complete, in the terminal type npm v and show the version. Back to the browser, type expressjs.com and we will install Express Web Framework for Node.js. Go to the terminal, type npm install express and wait for the installation to be complete. Express is a great web framework which will help us to handle HTTP requests in our sample here. So, after the installation completed, we will check the node version, node v 0.3.0, the last version today. We are checking the Express version 2, which is also the last available version. Back to the terminal, type npm install fe. After that, type npm list fe to show all fe installed versions. We have all versions installed, but the last one is 0.5.3. Go to interactive console, type node and hit enter, and we will test if fe is correct installed, var fe equals require fe and it works. We received a warning telling us sys module changed to unto. Don't worry about it. Let's exit and write some code. Open your preferred editor and type the express and fe require instructions. After this, Write the fade node adapter code instantiation. In the parameters, we have the mount point slash fade, which we will use in the client side, and the client timeout, which is set to 45 seconds. Now, we will create our HTTP server with Express, and we will add some configuration to help us in some stuff. The first configuration is body decoder to help us to decode HTTP post body. And the next line is to configure static provider, which will help us to serve HTML. Now let's map a post route to slash message. And the code inside this route is the most important code in our screencast. So let's take a look at this code. We have the bux, which is the node adapter instance. We have the get client method, which will get the bux client. And we use the publish method, which publishes a message to some channel, which can be any name you want. We are sending the message in the JSON format, but it can be any format you want. We have to send a 200 status code to finish our HTTP request. Then we have to attach the FE node adapter to our Express HTTP server using the app variable, which is how the node adapter works. Finishing our server code, we tell the Express HTTP server to listen port 8000. Let's write our client-side code. Create a file named client.html inside the public folder 
with the code as you see in your screen. After prepared the basic markup, create a div named messages, which will receive the fade node adapter messages from the server. We have to add one script tag to jQuery and another to fade.js, which is created on the fly by fade. After adding the script tags, we will create our fade client to receive messages from server. Copy the code as you see and paste it into your editor. Let's explain. We have the fake client instance pointing to slash fake endpoint with 120 seconds timeout. Now we have to subscribe to the channel we've created on the server. Copy the code you see in your screen and then client.subscribe slash channel with a message and we will use jQuery to append the message text to the message div. Fay chooses the appropriate transport for each browser and also works on Internet Explorer. Let's see our code working. Back to the terminal, type node server.js and we have a server pointing to localhost 8000. Open your browser, type localhost 8000 slash client.html. Back to the terminal and send a message using curl. You will see a message in the browser, hello nodecast.org. It works. Now let's explain the curl message. We pass post as HTTP verb. We've passed content type application JSON and we've passed a JSON string as the message to slash message on the server. Now let's send a second message. Hello using HTML form. It's really like an HTML form. You can create a form and send this message. We've changed the content type to X www form URL encoded and we've changed the message. The source code of this episode is available at github.com slash nodecasts. So thank you, see you on next screencast.